Good morning, Mr. Praveen uh, from Wipro. Thanks a lot uh, for joining us today in this uh, important podcast. I know you drive a lot of transformation changes within Wipro, and uh, the exciting stuff that you do related to emerging technologies is of big interest uh, for all of us. In that context, uh, I would like to first, of course, um, thank you for joining here. But uh, we would like to get your opinion on uh, how do you rate the importance of technology adoption to the industry that you belong and most of us know Wipro as an IT services kind of companies but tell us a little bit about it and what are the game changing influencers that uh, the future of your industry is likely to witness and uh, how do you see it uh, shaping up Thanks, uh, Arand. I think uh, it's my pleasure being here. Oh, interesting uh, a breakfast roundtable we had this morning. Now, uh, I think uh, you know few areas which we believe uh, we believe very strongly in terms of uh, what's happening out there is a lot of uh, every every industry across today calls themselves as a technology company, right? So adoption of technology, technology right. more or less moved to the uh, is become omnipotent, right? And right. Uh, the amount of amount of impact it can have on the way industries function at the core uh, has disrupted uh, and and is, is influencing uh, a lot of those trends there so whether it is uh, uh, things like uh, uh, emerging tech disrupting processes emerging tech disrupting consumer behavior digital native consumer behavior all of those have a have a big role in the how in how we see uh, adoption of technology and as a services uh, uh, focus uh, once technology itself is realized the way it can get implemented uh, will vary a lot and can there's infinite potential out there and that's that's where i think uh, our readiness to be able to deliver those services uh, out of evolved or evolving or maturing technologies becomes an important uh, prime focus. very nice very nice good so you kind of draw a very important point to see how it evolves so my next kind of area that i would like to check with you is how do you prioritize all of these tech uh, initiatives what is it that you go for near term far term or what is how do you prioritize it yeah interesting i think uh, prioritization becomes a very uh, very uh, methodical uh, activity that's required a uh, lot of times uh, what we do is we have a uh, a scan the landscape intensely across what's happening mm-hmm. uh, from a early stage technology uh, uh, thinking perspective a lot of academic relationships startup engagements venture yes. focus uh, goes drives there uh, once that's happened we have methodology defined for uh, and and one one thing that we've you know uh, focused on strongly is the convergence of technologies no single technology is going to play a role there it's all of those converging to create a high business impact so when we prioritize we build thematics around each of these uh, convergence trends that we have been crystal ball gazing uh, we script industry scenarios around each of those future of industry of those scenarios mm-hmm. and uh, we build uh, innovation Im- industry immersive innovation uh, walk throughs for uh, each of those industry verticals and take those those are, and those thematics are typically end to end so once that thematic starts evolving into a disruption of the industry process and the uh, the way technology can drive that we start investing a lot more in in those specific uh, areas the voice of customer is a very big role thematics uh, workshops that we run uh, we we sort of run by those workshops a lot of with a lot of customers uh, we have more than 400 customers you know in, leveraging our innovation centers uh, nice. annually and uh, sort of take that feedback and roll it back into where we should you know, put a lot more effort on the uh, organization structure itself such that the, we do the h2h3 you know uh, within the pro for a, a near term innovation uh, focus and the cto teams that we focus on which are uh, more r&d centered which are more uh, uh, two to three years focused uh, drive that uh, prioritization differently oh, very good so one of the things of course that uh, we had covered during the session earlier was uh, about the interesting work that you do in the lab to simulate different things uh, are there any specific industries that you work uh, towards it i know you mentioned about uh, digital twin and other areas 
is it restricted to only one part of manufacturing kind of processes or do you look up at the entire gamut of industries yeah i think uh, uh, the fo- focus has always been on on where uh, or which industry verticals uh, as an organization we, we uh, drive uh, highest uh, our revenues impacts so it's the the you know future of a digital bank uh, future of retail look at the uh, oil and gas a lot of core processes around oil and gas smart manufacturing utilities a lot of these industries are where uh, uh, we we focus on building uh, thematics around and uh, c- creating the uh, immersive content workshops for customer engagement so so far uh, i've heard a lot of uh, positives about different things that you have done but uh, i would like to check with you what is the most significant challenge you face being in the forefront of all the digital initiatives that you are doing yeah i think uh, that's that's a that's a important point because uh, what we're seeing today is uh, the changes are dynamic deciphering the change uh, modeling it sort of uh, understanding the gravity of that impact of the change is one part of it right and that needs a lot more uh, focus effort lot more investments uh, we we've, we've done substantially large uh, uh, build outs of innovation centers with industrial crops uh, from that perspective so it, the the l- learning curves learning curves are long the second key thing i think what when we say talk of technology conversions what we also seeing is conversions of the creative visualization uh, gaming animation industry 3d modeling landscapes back into the traditional it uh, world so we're more or less talking about consumerizing the operations technology today and a lot of what was done in the operations technology world we can visualize we can build uh, we can control we can simulate we can train uh, using consumerized technology ar vr uh, cave environments but getting those skills together keeping the digital natives motivated to work in that space uh, defining uh, motivating exciting boundaries for people to work around with uh, that's that's a complex challenge challenge that you have okay very good okay so lastly of course uh, i'd like to check with you how do you ensure digital initiatives lead to desired business outcomes because you earlier mentioned about to look up at rois uh, when you prioritize projects so i just want to get your opinion on the business outcomes of it Yeah I think again here uh, since uh, there are two different charters that we focus on one would be the near term innovation which would be customer impact to revenues directly uh, the r&d centered focuses are less revenue focused they more measured on uh, uh, innovation c set we run pretty high uh, innovation c set for customers uh, and uh, uh, the the whole uh, uh, whole business outcomes are measured largely with uh, uh how influencing we are in helping customers make tough bold decisions quickly and uh, how uh, uh how uh, innovatively we can actually configure and 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 help them understand uh, their space working in that environment so uh, a lot of it is is driven by uh, a road map driven by more being more future ready uh, the whole concept around uh, uh outcomes is is collaborative uh, is is co innovation focused and uh, engagement models are are very good thanks a lot uh, mr pravin this is a pleasure to kind of get your insights on what's driving change within the web pro we really appreciate your presence and your uh, thought leadership on the same thanks arun pleasure it's it's a, it's a great uh, experience being with you folks here thank you very much